Hey everybody, Ed here from the Perfetto Group. Uh, getting it confused with Perfetto Realty Group, but YouTube, it is the Perfetto Group. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Hope uh, hope everyone's happy and healthy, and uh, had a great day and is thankful for my wobbly camera. Hey, we're 20 seconds in, so uh, let's make the lawyers happy and. Um, what I'm about to do is, uh, it's kind of fun. Uh, we just closed on a house, uh, actually helped our, our friends, our clients close. And uh, uh, he was wanting to know what, are, what, what kind of tools do I need now? So I thought, hey, top 10 basic tools for a new homeowner. And uh, here it is, so we're a minute in. And uh, again, making the lawyers happy. So, um, Safety glasses, ear protection, um, breathing uh, masks to filter dust, um, any other safety precautions you can think of, uh, insurance policy, <laughs> if that helps. I don't know. Um, I've got a pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good shop here. You can see I've got some uh, uh, some duplicates of some stuff. I've got lots of um, oh, well, I got lots of chainsaws here. And um, lots of clamps. You need that when you're doing, you know, bigger stuff and, and uh, making furniture. But this is, you just bought a house and you need to know, what what do I need? You know, what am I going to be getting myself into? And, you know, I don't want to do, you know, big projects yet and really haven't done any uh, even small projects yet. So um, here it is. I'm going to switch the camera, get it to the front and... There's one of my bigger tools, my table saw, and uh, my messy table. So here it is. I'm going to start small. Let's go, uh, let's talk about uh, simple stuff, simple stuff. Oh, there's my finger. Sorry. I'm trying to hold the camera and talk at the same time. Simple stuff. We can call this top 10, but it might be 12 or 13. So... Uh, screwdrivers. You gotta have screwdrivers. You might, you might find a an electrical outlet needs to be replaced, or uh, even just something simple like the uh, the doorknob. Um, you know, the screws are a little bit loose, and the the doorknob is a little jiggly. So uh, we'll go ahead and tighten things up with that. You gotta have a Phillips head, which obviously everyone should know by now. Let's see if I can get focus here. Phillips head. Come on. Phillips head. Anyway, yeah. Phillips head is like, there it is, like a plus sign, okay? And standard, I don't know, that's Mr. Phillips. I don't know, this is Mr. Mr. Taylor. I don't know, it's just a, a flat chisel style and um, super handy. Don't cheap out. Go ahead and get, uh, by the way, happy Thanksgiving. And uh, wow, Black Friday's tomorrow, so I got this in just in time. Go ahead and get yourself uh, some uh, some some good deals tomorrow on packages like like this one. This is uh, drill bits, and uh, we've got uh, all kinds of spade bits. We've got uh, different mason bits and uh, hole boring bits. So this is, these are really nice because you can get a lot of different uh, tips for your screwdriver, as in these. Different size Phillips, different size, different thickness, um, regular uh, spade style uh, screwdriver tips. And they're interchangeable with the drill driver. So I'll talk about that in a second. The other thing, super important, besides your uh, screwdrivers and your bit set, you got to have some pliers. Uh, you know, you don't have to get all four of these at the same time, although you can find them in a... Uh, a really nice uh, package, probably you can get each one of these. These are locking pliers, super nice. They lock and all you have to do is turn it. You don't have to worry about squeezing. You can adjust it from the screw set in the back and they open up with a little pressure on the lever there. These are really nice. They come in super big all the way down to tiny. They come in a needle nose also. This is a standard needle nose. So we're getting into tiny little places you know, and then turning. You're not going to grab a bolt with this. You're more going to use this, uh, use this more for uh, pulling uh, pins or, or staples or uh, nails that maybe have lost their head. You can't grip them with 
the hammer. Uh, here's your basic adjustable wrench uh, slash crescent wrench and some some regular uh, bolt pliers. You, just, you, know, you squeeze them and you uh, loosen your bolt, loosen your screw, whatever you want to loosen. These uh, these can catch you too. These are adjustable. Uh, if you move that, that set screw there uh, to... Uh, anyway, they can get bigger or smaller for tightening. These will also adjust uh, with, with the screw so you can get bigger or smaller. So that's what, one, two, three. Uh, you need a stud finder if you're going to hang anything. Uh, these, are, these are great. This is an old style. You can uh, press both sides and run it across your drywall and it will uh, light up when it finds the nail in the stud. Okay, super nice. They have other ones. They have little tiny ones that are uh, magnetic. They just uh, spin, and they'll actually point to the screw when you hit it. So you kind of go on a diagonal. You think you found the stud, and you can you'll find that um, you'll find that screw. So uh, I mentioned before, you need a hammer, sixteen ounce. If you're gonna smash in a nail. Uh, if you're going to do any destruction, really the only difference between these hammers is the claw end. Uh, this one is, is flatter, so you can, you can actually get stuff. Uh, you can pry stuff that uh, a lot easier, that's a lot lower. And then this one's got a little more of a curve. So uh, it actually gives you more uh, uh, distance uh, with your pry. It'll pry it way up. Anyway, hammers, super nice, comfortable grips. Um, get a good one. Uh, I'm not saying, uh, I'm not going to say that any hammer is the same, uh, but these are good hammers. Uh, you know, any, any big box hardware store, even even the, uh, you know, the cheaper stores are fine too. This, this is a, a great tool to have, like I said, if you're doing any outlets or light switches or any, any type of... Um, you know, you're going to hang a light or a ceiling fan. You're going to need one of these, okay? This is your little electrical tool. Always find the breaker. Again, be safe. Find the, you know, turn it on. Go find the breaker. Flip the switch until it turns off, okay? Then you can work. You can take the, the hardware off, and then you can get into the uh, into the electrical wires. And you can see it'll, it'll cut different uh, gauges of wire. And... You can actually use that to strip the wire. If it's a, a heavier gauge, you can use these holes to bend the wire to wrap around the screws on the uh, light switch or outlets. So, you know, insulated handles as well. So super nice. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, hey, seven. Super important. Even if you're not going to do electrical work. Get yourself a decent tape measure, 25 foot. You can go smaller, you can go cheaper. I have about eight of these laying around the house, in the car, uh, everywhere. This is this is actually my favorite. I stole it from my son, Anthony. Um, I've got a Stanley and, and some other. These are just invaluable. They, you need them and they need to be accurate. So get yourself a tape measure. Uh, flashlight, gotta have a flashlight. This one is uh, it's an LED. It's uh, this one's flashing now. Oh, there it is. All my lights are on, so you're not going to be able to see it very well. But uh, it's this is a nice one. Uh, that uh, your flashlight. It's it's uh, small, compact, super powerful, and worth every penny. When you need that flashlight, if you're out on the road, or if the lights go out, you need to know where those are because uh, man. Or even if you just want to hang it. Here's another one. Let me show you this one that I have hanging on my bandsaw. This one uh, has a magnetic back. It's got a hook. And it is... I'm not blind, you guys. I don't even know if the battery's there. It's good. It's, uh, you know, you can set it up next to your tool while you're working. And give yourself some extra light. Because working in the shade is just not good. I've got a pocket knife here. you got to have a good pocket knife. Uh, utility, utility knife, super important. These are nice. These are segmented, uh, blade tips. So when this, when this tip wears out, you can just, let me get focused on here. Focus. 
There you go. You can just snap it off with a, a needle nose and uh, you get to the next one. So it's got a, a locking mechanism on there too. You can just uh, pull it back, uh, press and hold here. Uh, it's retractable. You can go from just a tiny tip all the way out to a bigger sawing action if you need to. But these are nice because they're very accurate and uh, they're, they're, again, whether it's crafting or scoring drywall for bigger jobs, uh, you got to get yourself a, uh, I don't even know what it's called, stiletto, utility knife, blade, uh, but those are, those are super nice. Let me, let me show you, this is my, I don't know, probably my favorite tool. You can buy these at Walmart, uh, you can buy them at Lowe's, it's the 8-in-1 painter's tool, but I use it for so much more. You can scrape stuff off the walls, you can, uh, you can pull stuff up off, um, off uh, the floor, whether it's bubble gum or um, you can score stuff on uh, round things. Uh, you can lift screws, nails. Uh, this is this is uh, just a. You can use it as a chisel. You can use it to separate baseboards, uh, floorboards. It's uh, it's just uh, you know you can use it for scratching or scoring. Versus you know this side's a little more of a screwdriver style. Uh, but this is this is a great tool to have. If if I had to give you one tool to get, go ahead and get this one. You know, uh, it's it's a little bit of a specialty tool, but I love it. I love it. Now I want to talk to you guys about this one. This is we'll call this number ten. I think we're probably probably beyond that. But this one, you know, again, you can use it for um, uh, basically it's a drill driver. You're gonna uh, either create holes or uh, you're gonna screw stuff in those holes. So. Um, I want to tell you about the chuck here. If if you're using a, a screwdriver, you're going to turn it and turn it and turn it, and you'll feel the tension of the screw as it enters the, the hole. Uh, so it's super nice to do it by hand, but super convenient and faster to do it with your drill driver. So you can put it in uh, forward or reverse. Right? This one is forward, reverse, and... This chuck is interesting because if you just have, you have, a, let's say, a sensitive piece of wood, you know, soft wood or a spot where uh, maybe it's the, uh, uh, the switch plate uh, screw. If you screw it too hard, it's going to crack the plate. You don't want to do that. So you want to set the chuck low. And when you screw it, when the chuck senses the tension, it'll skip and it won't turn anymore. So it'll save you from ruining a piece of wood or whatever you're screwing into. Now, if you're ready to just, you know, ram a screw into a piece of wood, you rotate this clockwise, you know, to the higher number. And these usually go to 15. And uh, this will drill a screw. This is a, uh, I thought this is a uh, 18, I thought. Let me see, does I have it on there? Oh, is that 20? 20 volt. Okay. Super nice, fast charge. It's a DeWalt. It's a good, good piece. Good, good uh, quality tool. And with the chuck set here, it's going to go. It's going to go deep and it's going to go fast. And if you're not pushing pressure on this, you could easily strip the, uh, the head of that screw because this is not going to stop. Uh, it's it's going to keep turning. So the other thing is you can have low speed or high speed. So when you're drilling the hole, obviously you uh, take the, the bit out, you put the drill bit in, and you drill your hole. Pull that out, put your Phillips or your flathead back in by holding this, and you screw away. So um, that's, uh, that's how this works. And these are invaluable. You may not need one day one, week one, month one, but you're going to need one of these. Uh, they're about anywhere from, you know, 100 for the super cheapy to the 200 or you know, even 300s like uh, Metabo, Old Milwaukee or Milwaukee. <laughs> that's a beer. I don't drink. But... Uh, you know, those are, 
you know, that's a price range. And again, Black Friday, you've got some opportunities to buy a lot of these tools in packages for super cheap. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you guys were my levels. Levels are so important. If you're going to do a quality job, you have got to have levels, okay? With the bubble, obviously, you're going to read it. It's between the lines. It's level. One thing about levels is it'll tell you when the level's level, not when your your piece is level. So that's uh, that's something to think about. You may be flat, flush to the piece, and the piece is not level. So you got to lift it up and get it level. So that's uh, that's a bullet. Uh, I guess you call that a bullet. It's a small one. It's about eight, nine, ten inches. I've got a a two two footer here with multiple uh, leveling options. You can hold it horizontally or you can hold it vertically and you can check when things are plumb and when they're level. I love that one. And then I have the four footer here, the monster. I use this for, you know, tiling floors or, um, you know, bigger, bigger stuff. And, uh, this is, this is great. You know, if I'm checking walls or, uh, mailboxes, if I got a chance, I don't know, I'll probably use the three footer or two footer. But that is, what do I see? What do you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We'll call it two bonuses. I'm gonna turn around. All right. Hey. So you bought a new house, you need some stuff, go ahead and get those 12 things and uh be safe. Plan ahead, take notes. Make a video. Start a YouTube channel. If you like this video, like it. Subscribe. Leave me a comment. Hit the bell. Hope everybody has a safe holiday. Enjoys the weekend. And uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Peace.